Yo, the last time I shot this Nike outlet, the clearance store at the Loop, I was trying to get there early before it opened. Now here it is a week later. I'm trying to get there later before it closed, yo. Yo, there's no happy medium, man. <laughs> there's not. I'm either late for trying being early or being on time, but I'm being late. That's how it is with me, bro. So let's make it. Let's hope I make it to that spot before it closed, man. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace. Scully on. Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the boyfriend? Get back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? Look what I found, y'all. 233. I think it's an all star joint. I could be wrong. I got the all red pair though. And it's like going for um, $80. Size 11 and a half. Am I, am I right? Yep, size 11 and a half for 80 beans. I think this is the all star joints. What y'all think about these? This whole wall right here is basketball. Promo uh, Paul George 3. Now these are some Nike by you, the red joints, the black, the bright colorway which I'm thinking about copping, but they're going for 60. I would like to try them out. So I may be considering that. There's another promo Paul PG3s. I'm going for $50. I got a lot of PGs, so I don't know. 2019 basketball shoe of the year. It's again, 11 and a half. I'm gonna show y'all what they got here. A lot of stuff may be redundant, but this is what I'm seeing right now. See if I can keep uh, find stuff that's new and, and show you guys. So I'm gonna take a look behind me in the size 12 department and I'll be right back. The LeBrons are still here. These are the 16s, right? Yeah, South Beach SB, $100 still though. Here's some uh, PG4s, unique colorway, $50. Yo, a lot of PGs are going for 50 beans, bro. They keep trying to get rid of them. Oh, yo, is Nike dumping Paul George? There's some ACG joints. Pass them on those. Some more ACGs. Some more ACGs. Now, I actually like this, bro. If I was to go in the woods, I'd go stylish. I'll rock, actually, I will rock these, man. But at one occasion, I'm going to uh, Yellow National Park. Yellow National? Yellowstone National? What is, what is that park called? I don't even know. Yellowstone, that's what I meant to say. Size 12, my size, and they're going for 70 beans. There's a few pairs up in here. Uh-oh, oh, these are the Kyrie threes, fours, fives? Damn, I'm off. 60 beans for those though. More Kyrie's. These are going for 50 beans though. So. What are those? <laughs> Yo, have I seen these? Uh, Earth Tone Nike Air Max 200 joints. They're going for 50 size 12. That colorway is kind of dope. And what about these Tailwind for SE for 70? Did I show them these last time I was in here? These Air Max 95? They're 50 beans, not an 80 size 12. Yo, there was a point in time I wanted this damn shoe, man. Look at the price, y'all. I love that blue and black, man. These are racers. And at $34, bro. $34, man. I may consider that. I like my running shoes, man, because I walk every morning. That will be so helpful. Nike shocks. Is these Cortez? Nah. Challengers OG. 40 beans. They got more racers in here. That color is funky. I actually like it, but it's 70 beans for that colorway. Closets, what they going for? 100, two months. Say word. I don't remember seeing these shoes last time I was here. Did y'all, did I show these? Hell no. These are the Air Force Mats 2s, I believe, man. I like it, I like this color too, man. Very different, very different. I like that color, what they're hitting for? $70 size 12. All oh, these are promos. Team Basketball Air Max 2020 version, y'all. That's dope. Yo, they got another color, but these is the first version here. These are the first and it's orange. Man, if y'all new to my channel, you can watch me for a minute every time I see these shoes in the building, whether it's the highs, the lows, always talk about them. I bought off the shrimp because it was uh, very affordable. I bought the highs and I love them. I love hooping in them, so I bought the lows. Now, I display my ankles in the lows just to be 100 with y'all, but um, I like the silhouette. These shoes look bulky, but they're not. The one thing I don't like about it is the heel cup in the back. See, it's a lot of give, man. If you, uh, you're a slasher, you're a jumper, you know what I'm saying? Come down the wrong ways can hurt, but overall, very good shoe until that one incident I had. So that's why I got rid of mine, man. I like them so much, I bought two pairs and I got rid of both of them. The one I put, matter of fact, I know I still got the highs. I just can't find, I think I got rid of both the lows. Where are these? 
pass. Again, this is for the people that's new to the channel. These are the highs I told y'all about, the Air Force Max. These are the highs, these are the gray joints. This is not the colorway I own. I own the multicolor, which I actually found, y'all. I still have, and I hooped in it recently. This is my 2019 basketball shoe from the Nike outlet of the year. You know what I mean? I mean, it competed with some Paul George, I think I had. I played in that year, some Adidas I played in that year, but those is what I end up uh, playing the most in. And um, bro, this is even more. This is an orange pair, bro. <laughs> I said orange. Purple, bro, they're the Borny pair. 60 beans for these joints, these are the lows. This is the original 2019 version. Um, I had the EYBL lows. All right, man, I'm talking a lot about these shoes. You know I'm not gonna buy them, man. Man, they're all over the place, bro. This is gonna be the Air Force Max lows and high uh, segment right here, yo. 60 beans for those. These are the gray joints. Yo, what time this spot closed? Get some Westbrooks. I think I have shown everything I can. Damn, there's some more, bro. I actually like this color. Ooh. And these are the, the new joints. I don't know, man. I think I might pull the trigger, bro. Maroon joints. I like. I like. But I got so many basketball shoes. I know y'all tired me saying that. That's up for debate. It's another colorway. Yes, the white colorway. But this is the other version. So last year's version, 2019. I was praying I find these joints a little bit cheaper. They're still hitting for 100. The white spot. These are dope, man. I'll still buy them, man. I just need them to be for 70 size 12. That's all. Yo, what about some Air Force Lows, y'all? These are the 07 LD8 twos. They're going for 40 beans. I think, man. Two swooshes on the on the lateral side. You got a mini swoosh and a big swoosh. That's unique, like the colorway. Just not an Air Force guy, though. Even though a Nike's ID appeared this year. More Paul George, yo. 50 beans for this, yo. Size is it? Size 11 and a half. He's just trying to give away the Paul George, bro. I don't know what, he, what did he do to Nike? Is it because he didn't win the championship? They're just doing him dirty. They're trying to give all his shoes away. But I'll still mess with him, man. I need to try these pairs on to see how 11 and a half fit. So, man, these joints are so freaking tight, man. This is a size 11 and a half. I can't do 11 and a half, man. I gotta do like a size 12 to be real with y'all. But I like the color so much, but I can get another Paul George for, for 50 beans though, man. So I don't need this pair. These joints are tight, yo. So the lockdown is crazy on them. Um, that's as far as I can tell, man. These shoes are too tight to even enjoy it. On my feet for the little bit of time I did have it on. But anyways, man, so this is gonna be a pass. These are the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe. These joints came out November 5th, 2016, right after the breads, man. Yo, I copped these at the trophy room, I believe. Nah, I don't even know, man. It was either at the trophy room or on Nike, your sneakers app. I think I was in the trophy room when I copped these. I think that's what it is. I went there for the French Blues. I gotta figure out when the French Blues dropped. If it was roughly around the same time, the same year, that's what happened. I was in the building for those. And um, yo, it was taking so long, man. I had my son with me, he was getting impatient. So I was like, yo, let me try to get these joints on the sneaker app, man. And I start hitting everyone around me, start hitting. And I was kind of happy, man. I was like, yo, I prefer these shoes because they actually postponed the drop for these shoes during that day. So they can drop the French blues, man. I think they came out with these a week after, but I already had a pair. And um, nah, did I try to double up? I know it was crazy, I, I didn't. But anyways, 2016 pair, love them. I have rocked these maybe about seven times now. Um, the only thing I don't, like, I don't like about these, they're not similar leather to the, the Royals, the uh, Shadows or the Breads, man. The toe box crease instantly, bro. They come pre-crease, you know what I mean? <laughs> But anyways, man, still a dope shoe. Now, these joints are hitting well over $500 right now if you're trying to buy a pair, man. Just give you an idea of inflation for Jordan 1s in the last four or five years, y'all. Here we go again, y'all. Now, these candy cane joints are dope, man, but they're size 13 to $60, man. But I mess with them heavy, though. I like those. I like those. Right now, I'm in um, the Loop. At the Nike clearance store, I was here not too long ago, trying to find leftover pairs, man. The store is still open, so I don't know if I Google lied to me again or my clock is wrong, which I doubt my clock is wrong because I'm getting it off my my phone. So you know how they update for daylight savings time automatically. I don't know what the case is, man. But when um when I'm early, I'm late. <laughs> when I think I'm late, I'm too early. So that's just my luck being here, y'all. Let's see if I can luck up and find something though that I actually will want to purchase and enjoy. So man, I'm gonna keep looking, y'all. See how I'm doing. Yo, here's another shoe I found, man. 
take a look at these real quick. These are some ACG Wildwood. You already know I'm on my Wildwood kick. These are dope. I like this colorway, man. But they're not my size. These are size 11. But it's hitting for $50, man. Very comfortable shoe. I love the color black in a lot of the shoes. The next pair I want to get, um, this is dope. Uh, it's the all white pair. But these sold out on Nike so long ago. And Nike had them discounted for a stupid cheap price, man. But I could, I, I, they had no my sizes, man. The quality on these shoes is phenomenal, man. I, I actually love these. These are like a, a guilty pleasure of mine, buying these joints. Uh, ACG wear, it's always baggy, man. Reminds me of the 90s. But besides the gear, some of the shoes are dope. Look what I found, y'all. Some Telerio highs, bro. I like that colorway. $99. That's a firm price because I haven't seen them cheaper than this, bro. Um, I do mess with them. I have the Vault, the Lowe's, which I rock every day when I go for my walks. I told y'all I'll be buying other shoes in Jordan despite what y'all may feel or think, and I rock them. Despite you seeing them on my foot or not, but this is another good slept on shoe, man. Very comfortable. You can definitely style this if you choose to, or if you just want to rock it casually, you can do that. Or if you want to use it for its intended purposes, can't go wrong, y'all. Price? That price? <laughs> What's the freaking odds to find another Nike ID shoe similar to the one I purchased. I think the fundamental difference is where you see the black uh, swoosh is also green, man. But this is something similar that I picked up not too long ago. It's on um, outletplug.com right now if you guys choose to purchase it. It's a size 12, my size. I actually got for myself, but then changed my mind. Where I saw, oh, here they go again. Here they go again, man. Same price, 50 beans. You got some cleats, the brown icons where they're hitting for 100. I need this, it's like a lot. I actually need it in white. I got this. I got those. Ah, I need this pair too, bro. I'm waiting patiently. I'm waiting patiently, y'all. Yo, I'm in the size 11 sections, man. And it's crazy Nike by using here. And on top of that, this crazy PG3s. Paul George joints. More PGs. More PGs, y'all. I actually like that color. Did we see this color? <laughs> More PGs. Take a look at these, y'all. Nike by you by Javier. Some blue suede blazers, bro. They actually look dope. 60 beans for these, man. We gotta rock these. Y'all rock these blazers. We gotta rock these. W-I-C, wick. What that means. Someone explain to me what that means. And we're back in the sneaker room, man. Thank you guys for pulling up and watching this Nike outlet at the loop video. Now, you already know the Nike clearance stores don't have much to offer. Doesn't mean you can't find no gems. It's just that you're not getting no discounts, all sales are final. In that location, you can't request your size if you see a shoe on the shelf that you would like to own or have or purchase. You can't be like, yo, can you run back there and give me a size 12? You know what I'm saying? What's on the floor is on the floor. I'm not gonna say you can't find no gems. I have found a few and I've just been there at the right time, man. It's one of those things, right? Right time, right place, opportunity, presents itself, you take advantage of it. Example being, do y'all remember when I copped these? These are the Harachis joints. I love these shoes, man. Rock them like twice so far, bro. The vault color, the black and red, just pops, man. I, I like it. I, I like these shoes. Cop them there for $50, bro. Yes, already right, rock. Another great price are these 34s, man. These lows. Cop these for $74, already rock as well. And one of my most recent pickups are these Air Jordan 10s. Cop these for $80. Still DS, have not rocked them, obviously. I'll be honest, I'm not the uh, greatest fan, but the quality on this shoe is dope. I can't, I can't, I can't hate on it, man. A lot of people uh, message me saying, you know what I'm saying, give me the details of the shoe, uh, how it represents like uh, the transit, I think the subway or railroad system in, in Chicago. Multicolored, quality, like I said, bro, it's phenomenal, man. I wish they make all tints like this. Look at the outsole. That thing is so icy, bro. Dope shoe, as far as like aesthetics, qualities, the colorway, I'm not a fan of. And I definitely don't like that right there. But anyways, 80 beans. And last but not least, I cop these. These ACG Wildwood joints, man. This make my second pair, actually three pairs. One of them on sale on outletplug.com if you guys are interested. Um, I have rocked my other pair already. Damn, why well, didn't bring that up? But I don't think I got, yeah, I didn't get that pair from this spot. So I'm not even gonna go and grab it. But yes, my other pair is not DS. These are these are size 11 and a half. I wonder what my other size is. I'll find that out later, man. But what you guys think about the Wildwoods, bro? ACG is a phenomenal 
uh, brand as far as like within Nike, I think it doesn't get much love because it's very overpriced. It's a lot of baggy wear, but the quality overall is dope, man. It is dope. I got some joggers from them, like some nylon oversized windbreaker type pants. I got big oversized heavyweight hoodie. Got a few shirts. Matter of fact, a lot of shirts. I think I got a lot of like dope um, cotton shirts from them. Um, not tees, but like cotton, like that thick cotton. And now I got like my second pair of the shoes. Nike on the back heel. I love these toned down colors. I also snagged me a pair of socks to match that blue and the swoosh. You know what I'm saying? What I pay seven dollars for the socks, forty dollars for the shoe. And that's it, y'all. That's all. That's all I got to offer, bro. I was thinking about showing you uh, my basketball shoes because I was talking a lot about basketballs. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see what I currently have in rotation for basketball, man. Probably quickly, I could probably do right after this, and I could probably post it right after this. Depends on how I feel like editing. But let me know if you guys even care for that. Because I've been playing uh, basketball, well, not re recently, but like when Florida reopened phase three, I was playing until, you know, I had minor cough, but no fret. Then had no, you know what I'm saying? Then had what was spreading in 2020. Then had that. But um, I rotate my shoes like every two days. Like literally, if I play three times a week, on the third day, I'm rotating my shoes, man. But I got an arsenal of collections for basketball shoes and also got some DS basketball shoes that I haven't played in. So let me know if you guys want to see an accumulation of both shoes I play and waiting to play in. That said, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, leave your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.